Good morning, I'm Kendis Gibson. And I'm Rena Nina with the top stories on this Thursday, November 5th. We began with word from British and American officials that a bomb is likely to blame for the crash of a Russian passenger jet in Egypt. Counterterrorism officials say new intelligence leads them to believe it was more likely explosives than a mechanical issue. The British government scrambling to get 20,000 tourists back home after halting flights in and out of Sharm el Sheikh. Intelligence officials have acknowledged that ISIS may be responsible as it is repeatedly claimed. Donald Trump is facing new criticism for retweeting a post showing Jeb Bush next to a swastika and in a mariachi outfit. Trump deleted the tweet claiming he did not see the attached images. This latest incident further angering Hispanic groups who are pressuring NBC to cancel Trump's appearance on Saturday Night Live. The two men will face off again next week in the fourth GOP debate. Senator Bernie Sanders offering legislation that would end the federal ban on marijuana. The Democratic presidential candidate's Senate bill would repeal federal penalties for possessing and consuming cannabis. His proposal allows states to establish regulated marijuana industries without fear of federal interference. The bill not expected to be a top priority in the Senate. Okay, so it may soon cost more to get your Thin Mint fix. In some parts of the country, they're raising the price of Girl Scout cookies to $5 a box. Well, that means the Girl Scout troops will get about 30 cents more from each box. The cookies were already $5 a box in some high cost of living areas, including California and Hawaii. Supports a good cause, not so good for your waistline. Though. No, exactly. The, the calories are going to cost you more. You're yeah. welcome. Get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Rena Ninen. And I'm Candace Gibson. Thanks for watching.